the Double RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A. We're doing a full fight card review. Top rank, uh, June 15th. Headlined by, of course, the lineal fucking bullshit champion Tyson Fury. You know, I want to see if the whole lineal champion Guillermo Rigondeaux gets as much attention. You know, Fury versus Swartz is what headlined it. Now, for you new viewers, the fight card reviews start at the main card, not the whole stream, like on Plus, or the ESPN2, I should say, and then it went to Plus, it's just for the uh, fair fact of that PBC doesn't really have a stream. You could do it with the zone, but right now PBC is not up with them, so they only have a main card, so across the board we go main card. And this fight's main card is three fights. Uh, Mayor Crespo, Barrera Hart, and Ferry Swartz. And we have uh, four categories. The fights on paper, the fights themselves, you know, or the commentary, the production, the camera angles, and all that stuff. And the crowd participation goes with that. So the fights on paper out of a 10 category, I believe the highest, I forgot who got the highest one, but I think the highest score we got was 37. Forgot who that was. Now, the reason why we do this is we do a monthly awards, you know, so expect the best best of a uh, May should be coming out soon. And one of the things is a best promotion. So that's why we cover these cards. For you to bring on, like, why the fuck do we even talk about them? Mayor Crespo. Well, let's just say the fight's on paper. Mayor Crespo, Hart Barrera, Ferry Swartz. Ferry Swartz, we all knew, wasn't shit on paper. Mayor Crespo was a nice name for her to have. You know, on paper, those, those paper, on paper, it was just a nice name. The fight on here that was the juicy meat was Hart and Barrera. Everyone like, okay, that looks like that could be a good fight. You know, the, to me, the fight of the night, <laughs> even though Lowe had a pretty good snipe himself, it was on the, the undercard. It, it might have been the main event for the undercard. I'm not too sure. It was uh, Andy Vincent and Albert Bell. That was the fight of the night. That was a good fight. But doesn't count on the review here, so no points for that. So on paper, I gave these two out of three to me were kind of shit fights i thought i thought meyer would do exactly what she did uh but furry was shit so i'm gonna give those fights like a six Herrera and Hart say give it a six but on paper i gotta say that meyer fight it had its moments due to the first back that crespo first two rounds came out just with a game plan, you know, make her reach, make her pay, fucking her up with that overhand right, just cracking her, cracking her now. I give it a lot of credit to Team Meyer, uh, Al, her, her trainer, coach, father figure, gave her good instructions. Hey, you know, slow it down, step back, throw uppercut. Because I think around after round four, after she, uh, Meyer just kept getting hit with that damn overhand right. She started throwing that low uppercut. So every time Crespo was coming in, she was running into an uppercut, her being the higher girl, the taller girl. And eventually that uppercut was slowing her down on coming in. Then the jabs was hitting, then the hooks, then the body work. So the addition that uppercut, the, the C Meyer uh, at a rank and figure it out. That was kind of cool to see because she completely changed that fight. She was getting bombed on the first. You're like, oh shit, she might lose this fight because she was getting, she'd throw one good one, two, and blah, 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 blah. She'd get rocked. You're like, oh shit, my, and she was getting hit easy, <laughs> easy, clean, and effective hitting. You know, not just hits that just scoring points but doing no damage. The whole category was covered when the Crespo was hitting Meyer aggressiveness a clean hitting aggressive hitting repeated it just show shit might be an upset but Meyer pulled that out so that was good Barrera and Hart 
that has some moments. You, you see Barrero is not quite the same. You see Hart is aggressive. You know, and Hart was always that little sloppy, get it done dude, but he looked really bad to me. <laughs> like, was it the fact that ESPN commentators is really making a note of it? Or it just like that night at 175, he couldn't handle the weight. And he just, the sluggishness to make his flaws look even worse than before. So, but the overall, the fight was, like I said, the fight on paper is what saved the card. You know, so, and the fight, the action didn't quite be, quite was what I expected, but it was still a nice fight. So, I thought the fight was going to be like an eight and a half. It was probably like more like a seven to me. You know, Barrera never made it a one-sided fight, but he lost one-sidedly. Uh, Hart made it exciting with the the way he kept hitting with the right hands. Like, can he finish him? So it had the infinite, but then, like I said, then just with the holding and the way Hart smothers his own work and his... <laughs> um, they commentated on it, and I loved it, though. Even though it's, it's fucking kind of awful to see. That I do an uppercut from way to fuck <laughs> from across the ring. He did it twice. If he ever hit someone with that, It'd be awesome. It, that'd be like a fucking straight, like, you doing video games and shit, you're like, fuck yeah. I landed that bullshit move on this fool. So, the uppercut looks vicious. But I, I give that fight like a seven. It was, it was, I, I, I like watching all this ugly, ugliness that made it a beauty fight. And the Fury Swartz, we knew it was a shit fight going in. We knew he, we expected him to knock him out, like dude, because he 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 can't say he's all this, 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 and this, and then not knock Swartz out. He needed to knock Swartz out. Swartz was hand picked to get knocked out, and given give it credit, Tyson Fury did the best he can do. He 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 showed you know he he made it interesting. He made it. Rememberable beating this bum. <laughs> I'm sure Tom Sports ain't a bum, but he ain't number two. He ain't he ain't that ranking that he got. You know, it's good to see right here on the Double R Two Boxing Show that when we say the best fight the best, that's considered one through fifteen. Those are the best fights. You know, people be like, oh, he sucks. Well, hey, that's why they're getting knocked off. He don't deserve to be number one. Don't deserve to be number three, but. You know, he's the best right now, and boom, back to the bottom you go. It's good to see a lot of people are getting their shots at the end of the day. You know, like, get the fuck out of here, you know. Swartz got his shot, get out. Uh, Mamoon got his shot. Uh, Tokakar, Tokakan Kyrie got his shot. Like, these fighters climbing the ranks and then bow, just like, hey, got to go. You're not quite what your ranking said you was. You know, um... Sir Wat Talako Ram against our team Dalakan. Number one got knocked out, TKO. So these people get their shots and they fall. But the, overall, those fights, I gave that Fury fright. That thing was a mess. But Fury punch selection, his knockout, his his agility, I guess, saved it because for the second round, he did show some agility against Swartz. I get it, but. He looked like, okay, he looked nice. So we go to five. We go to, you know, we go to six. He ended the game a knockout. So the fights, we would give them at a 40. We would give it a six, a seven, a 10, I should say. So, I mean, you know, and a six, I said, what, 19? About a six point something average. So we're just gonna say a seven. We'd be nice. We get the fight seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. What they were on paper and what they end up being. The crowd participation. Um they were they were I give it they they were pretty good. They 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 rooted Meyer on the best they can, you know, with the crowd that was there. Uh Barrera and Hart, I would say they were entered 
entertained. They booed a little bit for the Holden. But for the most part, they were entertained on that, you know. The crowd wasn't, like, fantastic this whole fight. The whole Tyson Fury thing, that went that went pretty well, you know. He had, he had the traveling. So, we would give the crowd. The crowd participation was a nice, normal. Let me give it a 7 out of 10 on that one. So, we're looking at a, what, 14 out of 20? Sitting okay, okay. It's 14 out of 20. Production and commentary. 20, 40 points left. No, uh, 20 points left. I'm sorry. 20 points left. And this is where the show fucking just... Just shits down our mouth, man. Shits in our fucking ear holes. At least for me. Like, I get it. It's a pump-up show. Commentary was... Pretty, pretty good, man. They were all over uh, Meyer getting cracked with the right hand. They were uh, explaining what she needs to do, how Crespo is coming in at angles, setting it up with the body work, then over the top. They were uh, they were breaking each fight down. Hart, his flaws, his 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 smotheriness, his can't attack, can't keep distance. Barrera. Uh, not quite looking the same. Everything I want, it kept me entertained. And, you know, but then they get to Tyson Fury. And the whole... They, 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 they sugarcoated the fuck out of this performance. Oh, yeah, you know. they He looked really good doing a lot of stuff. And Tim Bradley saying he could he'd do that against anyone, beat anyone. Um, possibly, possibly. So the commentary, who really, see, I don't know if Joe, what's his name, Joe Tosator, do I put him in, con, do I put his, his overkilling of Tyson Fury and lineal champion, that whole schmill, see, if, if I want to talk to commentary, I, I bring that shit into it, because that shit was, that shit was just overkill. Or do I put that in like the camera and the production category? Or, you know, the commentary with Mark Kriegel and this same old Meyer story and fucking Tyson Fury and then you get the lineal champion every like 30 seconds. So it's like, fuck, do you, do you, do you put all that into the commentary? I think I'd go with that in the production. So commentary... I gave it like a seven. I, they always, Andre Ward and Timothy Bradley, for the most part, I, I like how they, I like how they talk about fights. You know, two fighters. They, Tim loves the body, <laughs> the body, and fucking. But I give it a seven. So we're sitting at twenty-one out of thirty. But the production, oh my god, that whole lineal championship on the screen, the lineal, lineal title championship bout. It's like, bro, like they trying hard and very, very hard to fucking make Tyson Fury seem like a champion. It's like, it's, we, we know the dude's a bad motherfucker. That's all you got to sell him on. You know, just sell him on. He's a bad motherfucker. Don't act like, they're like, oh yeah, you can say, oh yeah, he's a little champion. He, he was the last one to be a champion, but just a Act like it's meaningful, like it's like actual. Uh, 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 it's, it's a fuck. It's no better than the pound for pound. No one gives a fuck about a lineal champion. If you ain't grabbing that, if you ain't walking around with a championship belt, who gives a fuck? You know, it's like it's it's an honorable thing. But fuck it, man. In boxing, you need to show something. You have the belt, or you're a bad motherfucker. Tyson, you're, you're a bad mother. It is stop with the whole lineal shit. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. It's, you know, they killed it. Overdrive killed that lineal champion. And, and I said, and then they're just uh, the same old stories over and over and over. Um, with the uh, Meyer and the Fury, it was kind of, that was kill. I, I, did, I didn't really care for the entrance. I didn't care for the singing. It's all. It was just all. It, it seemed like a, a forced production uh, with the actors and 
Alex Rodriguez stopping by and that corny ass seemed like a, a, a written down speech. It just a lot of it seemed a little corny with the they tried to make it a a a, a, a scene like they they really tried. But so I give the I, to me the production was very successful, but it was horrible to watch for me as a fan. It's like Ugh, it's cringy. Like fuck, I'm a boxing junkie, so I'm watching this cringeful shit. So I, I give it like a like I said, on one on one hand, it was picture perfect production for what they wanted to do. But as a boxing junkie, having to get through that shit, on the other hand, was cringe. It's like do you, do you give them a high score for promoting the fuck out of them doing well or do you just go to like fuck this is hard to watch so we go around down the middle 50 50 we're giving it a fucking five fucking five so 26 out of 40 right here for the top rank june 15th card thank you i'm your host mr a see you on the next one ah, stop that son of a bitch